But Steve, first off, you have been one of the first survivalists ever, even before you got into the liberty movement 20 years ago, uh, really one of the proto leaders of the modern liberty movement today. I'm not kissing your butt, it's just true. And you've been there, you've lived in the rural areas, you've been off the grid. I know you've seen the BLM siege, just running everybody off the, the, the land. The general greenhorns out there let the mainstream media deceive them and go, ah, this old crazy man in Nevada says he owns land the federal government owns. In 1877, before it was even a territory, his family went out there, and they've got the, the, the water, the surface, and the, and the grazing rights at the state, and it's on record, and they tried to buy it from them 10 years ago. The state did, and then the feds did. It's all on record. So now they've just showed up with machine guns and are taking it, and this, this assaults everybody. And that's why beef prices are exploding, all of it, because they're literally running people out of business everywhere who even own their own land. My family cannot even break even in the cattle business now. Uh, so uh, one of my good friends is one of the biggest producers in Texas. They just sold one of their biggest herds and ranches. Uh, I mean, because it, this country is being shut down under Agenda 21 mafia tactics. And then only big agribusiness is allowed to operate. Steve Quell, what is this really all about? And what do you think about what's happening in Nevada on the Bundy Ranch and the federal standoff? Well, first of all, there, I sent to you, Alex, a, a, a story about 29 gas and oil leases that are going on in that part of the country. So, you know, when this sort of thing takes place, somebody wants what's on the BLM land for their own use. And I think the Illuminati is in full rape pillage and plunder mode. But one of the hardest things for Americans to even get with, remember when you and I were screaming about NAFTA, North American Free Trade Agreement, GAD, General Agreement on Trades and Tariffs, and, and, and Ross Perot says the giant sucking sound of American jobs leaving the country and with it, you know, the middle class. What this is all about is resources. And it's about being able to control everyone and everything. And it's also a test. I believe this is a test to see how much the American people will stand up. When you lose your property rights, you, you, you lose everything. And the Agenda 21 is in full play, and, and uh, you know, I curse the United Nations Agenda 21. If people don't understand that you have rights to land that, for instance, are go back as far as all property rights, but see, under the United, uh, excuse me, United Nations Agenda 21, you know this. It is the Borg. They don't want individuals having property rights, and the last thing they want is anybody being able to sustain them. That's why they're shutting others. down farmers' markets, lemonade stands. The ultimate sin is having a garden. The ultimate sin is not watching television all day. The ultimate sin is not breaking your family up. The ultimate sin is not just giving yourself over over to the new world order. It is absolutely the case. And now what we're seeing, Alex, in full fledged look, I got so pissed. Let me use the word. I'm sorry if it offends people, but they better be offended over watching dogs being pulled in and, and used to basically intimidate and terrorize. Snipers placed against a man, his wife, and his kids. Those snipers were in place before all the people started showing up. So I believe this is a test case to test the will of the American people to see what they'll stand up for. Now, I place to call, I won't tell you to who, but someone's very well connected in the political field down there, very, very well connected with the governor himself. And I said, you have to tell these people to take a stand. I said, if you don't, at this point, I'm talking the governor, I'm talking their senators. Obviously, we don't expect Harry Reid and the Democrats to do anything. But the bottom line is, is that this is about life and death, Alex. That's what I think you've tried to do, and you've done all your producing of all your videos, all the thousands, tens of thousands of hours you've been on the radio. It's now coming home to people. The The price of beef is, as you know, you've got uh, cattle uh, farming in your family, uh, cattle raising. The point is we're at all-time highs. It hasn't been this high ever. And, and uh, what, four bucks a pound for ground uh, beef around the country? But more than that, we've got a pig virus now introduced, in which I, just for the record, I believe it's a biological weapon against the uh, – uh, uh, the people that raise pork, raise pigs, and the point is, is that we've got all these things going on simultaneously. So we are seeing right now in Nevada, I believe, the actual outplay of what will be across the entire country unless people hold their politicians 
to their feet to the fire and say, we will not stand for American citizens having guard dogs, uh, you know, and tasered. I think they tasered the phrase. Oh, they, oh, they're attacking women. Stay there, Steve Quayle. We're going to come right back. I'm Alex Jones. Jessica Armand here, creator of My Magic Mud, the all-natural teeth whitener and strengthening remedy that's getting rave reviews from GCN listeners. Here's what Austin dentist Dr. Griffin Cole has to say about it. I really love this Magic Mud product. Because charcoal is so absorbent, it's very effective at taking off all the sticky plaque and debris that gets stuck on our teeth every day. I highly recommend My Magic Mud. Visit MyMagicMud.com to hear the full interview with Dr. Cole. Get your jar today. That's MyMagicMud.com. Did you know Emergency Essentials has a lowest price promise on all of their long-term food storage and emergency supplies? This month, while supplies last, save over $250 on the year supply of basics. A year supply of food for only $769.99. Get 36% off the Mountain House Gourmet Entrees Combo, 52% off freeze-dried tomatoes, and 57% off freeze-dried shrimp. Call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or visit BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com and all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters for the love of clean water. It's been said, those who control the food control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formulation fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. You hear the concern in Steve Quell's voice, you hear it in mine. And as all this evil takes place, our government publicly funds Al-Qaeda, starts wars in Ukraine, uh, the school lunch program under Michelle Obama is worse than death row food, that's been confirmed. Because we put up with anything, we're being trained to put up with anything while the ruling class flies around in jet airplanes and has red carpets. We do have the footage of Emperor Obama arriving in Austin. I'll get to that briefly in the next uh, segment. Said I'd get to that earlier. But Steve Quayle is with us. And Steve, you know, here's a headline 
Feds move in on Nevada ranchers' herd over illegal grazing. Fox News can't even get it right. It's not illegal grazing. They built the water pipes. They put it in 140-something years ago. The water pipes 100 years ago. They tried to buy the water rights and land rights from them. And that's right. Steve Quell did send me an article. Send it to your email. You guys print it. Where they're moving in with oil and gas exploration with multinationals. And again, if they want to come buy those rights from people, uh, obviously you could say that he probably didn't have the, 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 the mineral rights. You would argue then the state would have that. The state would have the mineral rights, not the feds. And, and again, I know the laws, folks. It's the Texas Railroad Commission that's over that. And it's the land commissioner that's over that in my state. And I know the laws in uh, Nevada. I know the laws all over the place. I've studied it. And it's so frustrating when you don't know. The general public's like, what's this guy doing on a national park with his cows? Crazy old man. 90% of the state's been grabbed by the feds. They go, oh, we administer it now where you had the grazing rights. Uh, you keep doing what you're doing. By the way, sell that to us. No, I'm not going to. <laughs> Meet my SWAT team. You don't get you know. I mean, this just shows the criminality. And they've already done this agenda 21. Take Mexico. As you know, we were down there 30 years ago. And my dad said, they're selling land in Mexico? Foreigners couldn't buy land in Mexico until they did that. It was, oh, under the UN. And then my dad learned they'd stolen it from Mexican farmers. And he said, I'm not going to buy any. My dad went and looked at buying it when I was like 10 years old. I was in Mexico driving around looking at land because my dad was like, man, this is incredibly cheap. It was Mexicans' land they took. Steve Quayle, go ahead. I'm ranting. Well, I, Alex, I think what everyone needs to understand is this is part of the whole global upheaval. This is what we're seeing, and we're seeing it in a way now. I want to bring something up to you that really is important. Just as they're grabbing our freedoms, our livelihoods, our lives, robbing our children and grandchildren of any future, the 200, and this is, this is pertinent, 200 million Social Security numbers have now been stolen. They've gone into that uh, realm of cyber threat and cyber attack, along with all the other databases. I want to propose to you that the ultimate manipulative process that I believe is going to come into play, don't know when, is going to be to rob everybody of their identity, change Alex Jones and Steve Quayle's Social Security number by one digit, change our credit card information by one digit, change our bank accounts by one digit. I'm making it really simple. But can you imagine waking up and someone says, prove you're Alex Jones? And you can say, I talk like him. And they say, well, let's see your DNA. Here's what I'm trying to say. No, no, that's the plan. Forces on a DNA identification, a level above biometric. Absolutely. And and can you imagine on a Friday uh, hearing, and now this is critical to what's going on, remember, destabilization mentally, physically, and financially, they want everybody in limbo. They want everybody in a, in a realm of disequilibrium. So, well, well, you know, we're looking at a Ukrainian, you know, the whole Ukraine, Crimea, Eastern Europe, NATO. We're looking at all of these, if you would, I call those three ring circuses. They're mixing. It's a global destabilization by the offshore banks who are above the law against the entire planet, against everyone. Absolutely. And, you know, the famous statement, give me control of a nation's currency and I care not who writes its laws. Just bring that up a step and you'll understand. Now, 70 percent of the world is saying we don't want the American dollar. And you remember the Kyle Bass interview. You reported on it where one of the Obama administration guys said that their plan is to kill the dollar. Well, what what you know, I wish Kyle Bass would have said, no, your plan is to kill the country. We are absolutely watching the uh, I, I, I've got a word horrification of everything that America used to stand for, taken out from under us, and why people don't get it is simply this. The Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, all of those things that we all hold dear, they don't. So the enemies of freedom, the enemies of life, and the enemies of the living God are in a full court press. And what we've got now, Alex, is literally a future that is going to make Blade Runner and Dredd, uh, Judge Dredd look uh, simple. A Soylent Green is on the horizon. And look, all of this because somebody says, well, I think this whole thing, I even got an email this morning, didn't answer it because I, I was too mad to answer it politely. But, well, you know, the BLM's got to do their job. That's what the stormtroopers under Hitler said. That's not what the SS said. And it's not even there. And ladies and gentlemen, let me say this. 
262 million people lost their lives directly related to gun control. That's right. Stay there. We're coming right back to you. Long segment, Steve. We're on the march. The empire's on the Powerful run. information. Steve coming Alex up. Alex Jones Steve and the GCN Radio We're Network. We're InfoWars.com. Stay with us.